Shalom, Akim. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and safety to the elect. As you can see that I have on the screen here, um, this is from USA Today.com, um, published on February 1st, 2018. Uh, biometrics could replace boarding passes on international flights within four years. All right. And I'm going to play the video. For every hour that you're idling in your car, you're sending about half a gallon of gasoline up in the air. All land remain closed. Goodbye passport, so long boarding pass, hello this, your entry will soon be this, your face, sooner than you think. Our goal is to have this in place over the next uh, four years. That's Dan Tansier, a top official with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency, who told USA Today the plan is to start with international flights, then expand to domestic. Certainly on an inbound international travel, international security checkpoints, yes, I think you'll be able to leave that passport in your pocket, leave that boarding pass in your pocket, because you always want to have a backup, uh, but you'll see it be a much more smooth, tokenless process. Three see? Whenever they want to push a new system or a new uh, 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 government, it's, they always push it through convenience, man. All right? Because cause, cause, uh, these people out here are lazy and they want things to happen instantly, man. All right? So you could tell that this system that they're uh, setting up within these airports uh, is it's, it's just to further that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast written of in Revelation, the 13th chapter. Now, if you ain't pushing that the RFID is the microchip, all right, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. Then the spirit of Yahweh by Shema is not dealing with you, man. All right, it's clear. It's being made clear every day. All right, there's some kind of new information coming out on this microchip technology and how they're advancing uh, uh, biometrics into society. All right, they're putting it in grocery stores. They're putting it in buses, transit uh, 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 stations, um, schools. Okay. At people's uh, jobs at a job. I used to work a job about a year ago and uh, you have to uh, scan your badge in, in order for uh, to, to for entry purposes. In order to enter onto the premises, you had to have a badge and you had to scan it on a keypad and then that will unlock the door for you to walk in. So that that's what you call a, a, a RFID technology, radio frequency identification uh, um, a device. OK, now that that device, that radio frequency identification device is going to be implantable. All right. There's already RFID uh, um, um, technology out here. I did a video a few days about Stone Mountain uh, Park in here in Georgia having RFID technology for their employees. So as you brothers can see, man, this thing is is, is, is clicking off, man. It, it, it's really showing that the elite is pushing this thing hard and they're going to push it harder onto the people, man. All right, so I'm going to get one scripture and I'm going to close it out. This is just another prophecy watch I wanted to do, um, you know, concerning uh, uh, the RFID microchip, man. All right, this thing is happening, brothers, you know. Now, what is that? Second Corinthians 2. <clears throat> yeah, Second Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And that's the thing, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We we watch, man. We study. You know, we we, we circumspect. We checking out uh, uh, current events uh, uh, and, and things dealing with prophecy here in America. We ain't just sitting around being niggas. All right. So there, there you have it, man. All right. Biometric, the, you know, the biometric system. Biometrics could replace boarding passes on international flights within four years, man. All right. So they, they, that further shows you. That we getting closer and closer to this thing. All right, so keep pushing through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim I'm gonna close out by saying all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and safety to the elect, men, women, and children. Shalom.